Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity and it's very nice to meet you all. My name is Kinga Lola and I am 16 years old. I am also a second grade student in the first high school in which my school majors are maths, geography and English. All of those three, uh, three subjects are my great passions, but uh, a specific place in my heart take uh, English and physical geography to be specific. Apart from that, my other interests are psychology, volunteering, languages, reading books, and traveling. Psychology is something I started being interested in since I was a very little girl, uh, before I even knew the whole concept of psychology and what that really means, but all of those, uh, but generally people interested me a lot, and uh, <clears throat> their reactions to things, what they say, what they have in mind. Uh, on the other hand, volunteering is something I was introduced to uh, a bit later <clears throat> because <clears throat> this journey started when I was about 13 years old and me and my father joined a firefighter brigade team. Uh, he introduced me to that actually because it's his great passion. And this is the place where I started um, learning new skills and character traits. I think the most important are empathy, uh, teamwork, because uh, this is where I started working with others, so also organization skills. And <clears throat> this is the place where I find out that I really like helping people. And uh, I was, um, because of my father, he showed me how beneficial it is and how important in my personality. And my other passions are also languages. I am learning English since I was three years old and I think it's my favorite language uh, ever. Uh, I also learned German for about four years now at school and by myself, I am learning Spanish for a year now because I really love this language. I think it sounds very beautiful. Uh, in my free time, I like reading books. My favorite genres are fantasy books and high fantasy books. But recently, I also started reading business books and psychology to get to know all those process even more. And the last passion I'm going to talk about today is traveling, uh, because I really love how everyone can gain something else from the same travel. And it's a very unique experience for everyone, and I think this is very beautiful. Uh, exploring new cultures can be also very enlightening and eye-opening. My plans for the future are strongly connected with the Netherlands. Uh, my dream university is Avon's University in Breda when I try, when I'm going to study <clears throat> uh, psychology and business because I want my passion to also make me an income because I believe when you work uh, as something you really like and something you really like, you can really make a difference and it's the best way uh, to be happy with uh, your life in the future. Uh, now I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about what I would get from the scholarship because uh, I divided it into three sections. First, knowledge, experience, and also motivation. Knowledge, because I think programs like that can deepen your knowledge in a very extraordinary way. Uh, to gain this knowledge, you don't have to make flashcards or reread uh, any books or stuff like that. It just comes to you very naturally and stays with you forever. I think that's very beautiful in programs like Queen Hedwig Scholarship. About experience, I think it builds your character traits and characteristics in general. And this experience is definitely one of its kind. And that's why I think it's the most important advantage of uh, this program. And also, I think uh, Queen Hedwig Scholarship would be my further motivation to work even harder, even though I am a very hardworking person uh, and very motivated to achieve success in my life. I think it would also be a very crucial uh, point in my life and um, could help me make my dreams come true and to remember to never give up. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And I am open to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much for the presentation and I would like to ask Monica for the first set of the questions in three minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Really mm -hmm. interesting and uh, I think uh, interesting in the 
in the way that we could discover you as a person and your interests, your dreams, your plans. And I will, I have maybe many questions. I I will I I will try to select. Uh, the first one is about your role model. Mm -hmm. Could you explain us your interests and your, uh, let's say, motivation and at attract uh, on your role model? Mm. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> well, my role model, I am <clears throat> really aware that it's mm, not something that other people would expect. Mm, but I think because of Barbie movies, I started mm, to develop curiosity about uh, people in general. And I think this is how my uh, psychology interest started. Uh, and also, uh, this is when I discovered that uh, imagination and creative thinking is very important. And this is when my parents introduced me to reading uh, so I could broaden my horizons even more, even more, not only based on um, uh, mo movies, but also something um, <clears throat> something else, a different way of uh, developing that. Uh, so <clears throat> I hope I answered your question uh, really well, but it's been al always a very important part of my life. And uh, I think this is when uh, my, this is where who I have my ambitious goals from. And I'm very thankful that I could grow up with such role models uh, that could give me more than uh, just an entertainment. Yeah, I think that it, it is really, really in, uh, attractive to have this kind of description of the role model. And uh, as you said before, that your interest it is to reading the fantasy books. I mm -hmm. think that it is a part of your personality, and it is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Uh, now, now maybe me. Uh, I will ask you one question because I found in your. Uh, you attached also uh, such a certificate for Erasmus uh, um, that you, you joined this uh, project. Can you uh, tell us about this and your experience, what you learned from it? Mm -hmm. Okay, of course. Uh, so it was a 10 day, uh, 10 days program uh, in which I uh, was able to meet people at my age from Turkey and Romania. And uh, all of this project was about uh, renewable energy sources. First, we of course had some uh, integration uh, together. We were able to meet each other. Of course, everything uh, was happening in English. So the first part of this program was mostly a uh, language problem. Uh, but then uh, the final of this program, uh, in the final, we had to make uh, a presentation about uh, renewable energy source sources. Mine was uh, biomass, 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 uh, and we had to present it in uh, <clears throat> between uh, before uh, some uh, political figures in my uh, city in Łódź, uh, and I think. Uh, them, I, of course, mm, learned a lot of things about uh, renewable energy, but the most important things I've learned, I think, is uh, confidently speaking in English. And I've met a lot of very uh, smart people who were able to uh, teach me a lot, uh, well, of course, in the field uh, and the topic of uh, the Erasmus. Uh, but generally about life, meeting people from completely different parts of Europe or the world generally is an uh, extremely valuable experience, I think. And I'm very thankful that I could uh, take part in this Erasmus. Um, so, yeah, I think this is the most uh, important thing I uh, have from this uh, project. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you.
and of, of course because uh, because I found it in your in your motivation letter, uh, uh, I don't feel much guilty to ask you the question whether this force majeure um, uh, uh, healthy problems um, and problems with your knees um, are really causing uh, uh, such a such a problem in your sport activity uh, that you 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 cannot come back to the sports, which uh, which is extremely amazing for all of us and for the young persons. And if so, uh, how do you how do you balancing this sport activity in your life, which was so important, as you have mentioned in your motivation letter? Mm -hmm. So it all started when I was about seven years old. This is when I had my first surgery. And since that time, I've had two more. And yes, uh, as you said, it was a big problem for me. I couldn't really get over it for some time. Uh, but fortunately, I found uh, some sports that are uh, new problems safe, such as swimming and uh, walking around. And um, especially walking, uh, walks in general, uh, I think uh, also made me more uh, of an observant because I started to uh, be uh, in the nature more. So uh, I think this is how I try to balance it. I am still in still contact with my doctors and I am asking them what I can do to uh, replace other activities that I've done before with uh, what I can do now. And uh, I just find new hobbies, I guess, uh, instead of sticking to old ones that unfortunately are not available for me. But hopefully maybe someday there are going to be... Uh, some inventions that will allow me to come back to my old passions. I would really, really love that. And I want to be uh, meet the type of pe people who will maybe be uh, responsible for that. And I think programs like this are places uh, where you can meet this type of people and that's amazing. Thank you very much uh, Thank for, for the answer. Um, uh, so uh, we have a one minute uh, for, uh, to give you a feedback. Uh, Aneta, if we can start from, from, from you. Uh, I really appreciate your, your presentation. I'm also uh, very impressed by not only your successes and uh, participation in um, this uh, Erasmus program, but also uh, what is very important in to today's world, that you are participating as a volunteer in fire brigade team. What really is for a girl <laughs> is something <laughs> that that is uh, really. I think that you are very brave, uh, girl, and and uh, I think that is this braveness will also uh, give any other uh, impact on any other. Uh, uh, scope of your life, so I really appreciate and and uh, please continue your your plans and I wish you luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I think also. Yeah, I think also that uh, what is really really important that I I have the impression that your. Uh, your way is well tracked that you know what you would like to to do in the future that uh, you have your interest and you could and you arrive to uh, to mix your passion your interest and your uh, thought and your your thoughts about your future professional life and uh, yeah and i would like to um, to thank you for it and to to say good luck thank, thank you very you. much thank you thank you thank you you're very 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 convincing because we are a very natural person everything what you are saying uh, you feel that it's really uh, true um and, and this is quite unique maybe because you are still very young um, yeah. but i hope that it will not change in your future life because this is a treasury so um i wish you to be natural to to develop your interests and and to grow 
uh, in a direction you, you, you'd like to really grow your interests. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity.